mental health is something that should be discussed not just in the boardrooms or in social media as we saw last week when the great actor you know who committed suicide comrade shy uh, when uh, he left right it needs to be something that goes into our homes and it needs to go to the water bottles that the water tank okay well water tank are what we have at jobs when we want to get water there is still a stigma uh, with mental illnesses uh, you know sort of when a man is being abused by a woman they said to come out and report it because they see it as an attack on their manhood so December holiday not December holiday on the 12th uh, my landlord is shouting at me gets to me I run away from him to the nearest garage but something in my mind got twisted uh, i heard voices i was running away you know and there were people who, who granted were wanting to help me there were so many people wanting to help me but at that time the fear of him that distrust it caused me to have what they call a maniac uh, episode and the guy actually went to take pictures of me in that stress i was at Now my family reacted in a way that I, I wouldn't uh, be sure would not proud of they could have done it better especially my paternal parents right some people were saying I must go and be a sangoma uh, go do these traditional things uh, for me I feel that if there is a um, sort of an, a diagnostic to it it doesn't necessarily mean go that route right and I, i respect my ancestors i speak to my grandfather almost on a daily basis and he died in 2010 then you get uh, the, the the flip side of that is when you have parents who want to control and say you're sick you should be sleeping wake up up and they try to control your whole day right but one of the worst part has has a, for me is to go to my job and tell them that i'm that i've got this I, i i feel that it is a career sort of ending thing and i i do worry that going forward being 31 years it's going to affect how i grow and as luck would have it, i had a back up uh, about two years ago when i had some change and again in 2013 so i have that issue where I was told by a manager that hey with this back ops it's going to limit your career. And it looks like he was right because I've been at the same level for almost 10 years. And now to add um the whole mental illness uh you know it it's it's making me trained now for for the wrong reason because and to be quite honest I'm afraid of when I might have that many attack and I know they're scared that I'm going to have a maniac attack and whilst we all in the office and you know um I would like to think because we have first aiders at um at our office maybe what I should do is have a conversation with our first aider and say this is what happened the last time but um I am on medication um I'm just worried whether this medication is making me gain weight or it's when you know when in the mental institution or hospital that the one of the best part is the food when you got to eat and you didn't pay for it and you didn't cook it and you don't have to worry about the dishes man that's a life i ate three meals and a snack and dessert but dessert was terrible though it was terrible okay so you got to speak up on your dessert okay you got to turn it up more but those things right and it's it's so weird but I just wish um that the conversation but I'm there to one I think I have time to get to understand my mental situation and most importantly understand other people who have mental issues and those who don't so that the things that are said to me like oh you gaining weight you gaining weight and all that cuz if I just come out of a mental institution the last thing I need is for you to be making me feel in a you know a type of way
yeah but um it's it's a conversation that i'm hoping i will have the opportunity to be a part of uh and yeah but in a in a way but i'm not um I'm, i'm really not thinking of retiring and i hope uh, it's not something that comes to me um i'm hoping it won't limit me uh but yeah it's it's a conversation that we need to have for somebody to say it's okay to be diagnosed with a mental illness and for your family to understand that you being sick doesn't now necessarily make you a baby where they got to clothe you they got to feed you they got to take away your phones right so far the only places where i can talk about mental illness and not be charged is social media people a thousand miles away people who not facing the circumstances that south africans face Because what you do, you worry about your job. For me, when that thing happened, I carried my laptop so tightly, running away from that man. Because if something happens to that laptop, I'm I'm finished. Because it's a work laptop. You see, those type of conversations need to be had. And yeah, I'm fortunate in that um, I can talk about it. Uh, there are still those who don't know they ha- they have it. and i hope for them that such things are not triggered as mine was triggered by an angry man at 4 o'clock the man was shouting at me shouting at me i ran outside i came back called for help i went outside the kid i just ran to the garage and he came there to take pictures of me so i hope that those who will be diagnosed with such they get a better and safer uh, time than i did I'm grateful that the only person who took pictures of me is the landlord who caused this and the general South Africans they, they were trying to genuinely help me